Am I Reister or am I wrong? Mike Trout signing a 12-year, $430 million deal only goes to show how much NBA and NFL owners are getting over on their players. In the NBA, they have the max salaries, the salary structure. You can only be so old and then your salary is structured unless you make all NBA teams or an MVP. The best players are not always rewarded with the proper contracts. In the NFL, same way, salary cap. The best players don't always make the most money because now you got to uh, leave enough room, leave enough money for the team to build a team. How insane is that? When the greatest players of all time, Tom Brady, LeBron James, have rarely been the highest paid players in their sport. What kind of sense does that make? Mike Trout is one of the greatest baseball players of all time. And including the contract that he's on right now, he will make a total of $521 million in his career in on-field earnings. Tom Brady and LeBron James, including the contracts they're on, combined $614 million. I mean, you got two of the greatest players of all time versus one of the greatest all players of all time. Hey, because they are not allowed to realize their fair market value. It's insanity. Think about this. Mike Trout, Bryce Harper, Manny Machado, and, and Arenado, all $1.32 billion in contracts. Not including the, uh, all the stuff they already did. LeBron James, Tom Brady, uh, Peyton Manning, Kobe Bryant. You add all of them up, it's not even the same amount. I mean, how insane is that? How much longer are the players going to allow this? And then people get mad at it, people, at players like Antonio Brown for demanding more money. Kobe wanted more money. LeBron saying he's not going to play for the minimum minimum anymore. Um, uh, same thing with Kevin Durant, Clay Thompson, all these guys. That's why, because they realize their fair market value, and they know that the teams will figure it out. These owners, they set the salary cap. They set the salary cap and the calculations the way they want it because there's plenty of money. These leagues are kicking off 180 to $240 million per team. And these owners teams are increasing in value. Uh, look at the Angels. Artie Moreno bought the team 16 years ago for $182 million. The Angels on a conservative number are worth $1.8 billion. Yes, $1.8 billion. And then people are going to say, oh, well, Mike Trout's making so much. These are shrewd businessmen. At no point in time are they going to pay people more than what they're making. It's not happening. It'll never happen. That's why they got to be billionaires to own the team. There has to be something done in a system to where people who generate a ton of income where their salaries are capped. People don't like it in the real world. They try to make it sound great for the salary cap. Yo, but the owner said it. This must be changed. They are getting over. And fans, stop buying the myth. Stop buying the lie. Oh, with the, with, where teams say, we don't have enough money. We don't have enough cap space. We'll create it. Change the rules. You made them. You made them like that. Just so you can sit up there and say, oh, we don't have enough money. Times have changed. The salary cap was there for a reason when teams weren't this valuable. God, television contracts weren't this valuable. There's so much money on the line now. And then even at $430 million, Mike Trout is underpaid. Visit the Unafraid Show. Am I Reister or am I wrong?